Disney's Villain's Revenge by Disney Interactive, released in 1999, both on PC and Mac. Now, Disney has always kept the animation quality pretty good in their games, and this one, they did really good. This one matches a lot of your favorite Disney stories, uh, Snow White, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Dumbo, and sticks them all together in this collection of games. So the plot is uh, Jiminy Cricket gets the bright idea of tearing out the happy endings of all the Disney stories from a magical book. So with no happy endings, all the villains decide to change the story's ending where they become the winners. Now, I forget who this character is. It's some sort of banshee, I guess. Comes up flying through the window and politely tells Jiminy Cricket that he's an idiot. Then says, we have to jump into the storybooks and set things right. So you can start from uh, any story. And let's start with the Alice in Wonderland story. And in this ending, Alice loses her head. You'll be searching through a maze looking for uh, Alice's head. And uh, you'll be using the sound of Alice's voice to guide you to it. Just follow my voice. It'll lead you right to me. Just uh, beware of the uh, dangerous puffs of smoke and click on them to destroy them. After you find her head, you then have to find your way back out of the maze, and that's where you follow the white rabbit. Now the way back is uh, much harder with uh, card guards and even more puffs of smoke. This game wasn't too bad. It reminded me a little of Sewer Shark on the Sega CD. In the uh, Save Dumbo game, instead of flying like he does at the end, he has to constantly redo the diving act over and over again. Now this game just requires you to move a few objects around and essentially stop the show. You can finish this one in like uh, one minute. It's, I would say, the absolutely worst game on here. In the Snow White Spellbook game, uh, Snow White has no prince to wake her up, and the evil queen is putting the seven dwarfs to sleep. So, you have to make a hero potion. Yeah, that's right, heroes aren't born, they're made in an alchemist lab. So it gives you some recipes, and from there you start making potions. Now the thing is, the uh, potion bottles don't always look the same as the picture of the ingredient. And although it does help the challenge a little, it can be really irritating. There's also a timer. The uh, evil queen is putting the dwarves to sleep one at a time. So when all seven are asleep, it's essentially game over. I do wonder why she has to make herself look old to knock out dwarves chained up in her dungeon. And I do kind of wonder if the uh, handsome prince is going to go kiss the dwarves to wake them up. In the uh, Hook sword fight game, Peter Pan turns to an old man. You then have to uh, battle Captain Hook in a, a full motion video throwback sword fighting game. Now this one ran pretty smooth, uh, the animation is great, and it kind of reminded me why I used to love the Saga CD when I was a kid. This one was probably my favorite game on the collection. After beating all the games, you'll go into a final confrontation against all four of the bosses. Various objects will be fired at you, and you will use your magic book to reflect them back. Each boss's levels and goals to winning are slightly different from each other, which helps give the battle a little bit of variation. And although it wasn't an amazing climactic final battle, it was challenging enough to be satisfying. After beating all the storybook games, you're rewarded with uh, more games. Unlocked are a uh, dance game with a clown, a rotating maze game, an Othello-style game, and a very nifty dwarf mining game which each dwarf has his own special ability. So overall, Disney's Villain's Revenge was a lot of fun. It had an excellent story, a lot of games, all complemented with uh, great art, music, and voice acting. There's really not much to complain about. It's very cool. So if you ever get a chance, uh, do try it out. It it's great. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Pooch!